OK, uh, so welcome to our class. So this is our first lecture and we are talk about so what is programming and also we are talk about what is Python and also what um, Python editors we are going to use. Uh, so again, I'm the instructor of this class. Uh, so I'm Dr. Xu Bing Wei. Um, I am an assistant professor at the School of Integrated Science at GMU. And this is my GMU email. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me email. And this is also my Twitter account. Uh, so you're welcome to get connected on Twitter. Um, my office um, and also uh, my virtual office on WebEx. Um, I'm also um, a cloud ambassador on AWS Educator. So I have been using AWS uh, for multiple years. And in this class, we all will use AWS as our cloud Python editor. Uh, so here also are my tutorials on YouTube and also GitHub. So where you can find out the tutorials talking about data analytics, data mining, Python, data visualization, machine learning, etc. OK, uh, so how to resolve a problem. So um, the pr pr problem resolving is the ability that you need to formulate the problem. So when you see a problem, so you need to formulate a problem. So what are the real uh, challenges? So what are the real um, questions you are trying to answer? And develop your solutions and also express the solutions clearly and accurately. And then learning how to program is an excellent opportunity that to practice those problem solving skills. So because uh, learning pr programming will uh, require you to formulate the problem and also tell the specific instructions to the computer to resolve the problem. OK, uh, so the program is just a sequence of instructions that specify that how to perform a computation. OK, so a computer can follow the instructions to take those predefined uh, um, actions to perform some calculations. So computer will require all the program will require an input. So those are the data can either from the keyboard that user typed a file all the data connections through the network or from other devices like IoT devices. And they will return the result so as output. So they can display that on the screen. They can also save as a, into a document. Or they can send out over the network. So like you can receive their result through email, uh, cell phones, etc. Uh, the calculations that they can do are the mathematical calculations. OK, like add, plus, etc. All the conditional executions. So for example, they can check whether or not certain conditions are met or not. OK, and what the computers are really good at are they can perform those actions repeatedly. So they will not feel tired like human beings. And also, they also will generate the result very consistently. So. Uh, um, so they do the if they repeat the same actions uh, multiple times and they always give you the same result. So that is very consistent. And programming is just the process that we need to break the large task into small subtasks. And when the subtasks are small enough or are simple enough that can be performed with very basic instructions. So that is a process programming. So you cannot tell computer to do a very um, vague uh, task. So for example, if you tell computer, OK, so do the grocery, OK? And computer will not understand so how to do the grocery. So you have to divide the grocery into multiple symbol steps. So for example, you say, OK, go to the supermarket 
and also pick up the items that you need and also uh, check out okay and the next delivers the items back to home okay so in, you need to break those tasks into simple tasks that computer can easy to follow and to to understand and those instructions are always formal languages okay so our human beings are speaking that natural languages so that we can understand what we are talking about and sometimes we can just even a single word we will know what uh, the meaning behind those single words however f for computers they have to understand those formal languages so that means that they must to follow those very strict syntax rules okay uh, so you have to pay attention to those syntax and that's why we have to learn those syntax uh, during this semester so even a tiny difference in the syntax will generate errors so even a tiny dot or even if for example if you miss a quotation mark something like that will generate the errors I forgot how to spell errors. <laughs> okay, we are gen generate errors. Um, and those programming errors, okay, I, I was right. Okay, uh, so those programming errors, uh, for some reasons, are called bugs. Okay, and the process of tracking them down is called debugging. So, debugging is a very tedious work. Uh, however, all the programmers and all the person that who are learning programming have to go through this debugging process. Um, so for example, if I write Python code, like use three minutes, okay, I may need to spend like 30 minutes to debugging, to debug the errors in that Python code. Okay, so debugging is a very tedious work. That also makes um, uh, the programming very hard initially so for beginners the beginning part of learning a programming language is always the hardest because you have to get familiar with those syntax and you have to get comfort um, with those errors okay so get familiar with syntax and also get comfort with with those errors uh, so computers you can think compute as employee uh, they have them some strengths like they can do things very fast and also accurate okay so those are the strengths of the computers however so they don't have empathy okay so and also they don't understand those big pictures so you have to divide those big picture into them some small small simple task with very specific instructions following those syntax okay and when they have errors they just tell you errors okay so if you feel like okay the computer does not like me or the python does not like me it's not the case so they uh, they don't like anyone <laughs> so if they tell if you have errors they will report errors so they kind of lack empathy Okay, so that is the uh, programming. 